After you install the plugin, here in Final Cut, go to the Titles tab and here look for Leno FX Grids. Here you'll find all the titles, all the scenes, and it's separated in three categories. Basic, where you have basic grids with no logo and no text. There's the creative, where you see options with logo and text or both. In the slide section, you'll find grids without logo or text, but it's a very nice effect where you use the media in the timeline. It can be photo or video. You can use photo or video in all the drop zones, all right? So here's the clip in the timeline, for example, and then it slides back to the same media. Very nice to use in tutorials or anything. Just be creative because this plugin is very powerful. So let's see how you can use it. First of all, let's use the basic one. You can click and drag to the timeline like that, Command Z, or if you want to add as the same duration as your clip in the timeline, just press X with the cursor on top of the clip, X to mark an in and out, and then select and press Q, okay? This is a great way to add the title, the grids plugin. Now you can select the title, Command 4 to open the inspector, or you can click here. And here you can see in the Titles tab all the parameters are available so you can customize even further, all right? Here you can enable or disable the in and out animation because maybe you don't need animation in the beginning or at the end, okay? But if you want, you can leave it enabled. Here you can find the drop zone controls where you can hide grid, hide grid on and off, where you can hide this section here, look, on and off. And you can add a little bit of roundness if you want. If you make this enabled, I don't recommend to use the roundness. I like like this, it's better. And keep in mind that these parameters are not available in all of the elements, okay? Some of them you'll not find it. Now let's see how you can add media to the drop zones. Here you can see all the drop zones, drop zone 1, 2 and 3. Here's the source, you can enable or disable drop zones because maybe here you want to add some titles or logo or anything else, alright? It's very flexible and you can combine with other elements as well, okay? So let's add media, click here, go to the browser and in the browser you can find videos or photos. Let me show how you can add video first. Just click where you want the clip to begin in the drop zone. Now you can click on the other one. Let's start here, click, click again and let's add this one. Click again, apply clip and then let's play. It's a good idea to render first because you are playing three clips, videos at the same time. So go to the modify menu and render selection if your render is not automatically enabled. I don't like the automatic render. So it's rendering, let's play now. Yeah, that's great, I like it. You can come here and change the content in the pan you can move the, the media and here you can move this one as well and this one and you can scale up or down like that and if you want to change media just click again and click on the other clip that you want to use hit apply ok and you can change the background you can disable the background like that or you can enable and change the color, change the opacity, you can add or remove the black and white effect, the blur. Look, let me disable one of the drop zones so you can see better. Black and white and blur. And here you could add a text or a logo, anything you want. Let's see, for example, go to the Titles tab and I'm going to use 
the text presets plugin just add a title simple title here very basic but very powerful as well so here i could add a title make it smaller change the font and so on okay something like that let me delete and show that you can use a little bit of noise but keep in mind that this is just a subtle effect use with caution don't do this all right and the fade in fade out you can fade in the beginning or fade out at the end or both or leave it off okay let me remove the noiseness so that's the basic one let's use another one let's use the creative let's see let's use this one so here i'll play it all right here i have text you can double click on it and then you can change photo ideas i'm going to put video and then let's say that you want the ideas to be yellow just double click on it select it or select here go to the text tab and here in face you can change to yellow for example and to accept click outside press s here you can click on this text we have two go to the titles tab let's see travel let's say that i don't want travel just remove it by clicking here let's say that you want to change the font you can click here and change the font the size and so on you can also disable if you want more controls let's say the line spacing just click on the text and here you can see line spacing we have here a logo let's see how you can change the logo click here on the titles tab and look for the drop zone for the logo let me see is this one drop zone logo click go to the browser look for your logo click here hit apply as you can see it's very big let's make it smaller like that okay and let's say that i want everything to be white click here add custom color and change the color like that all right this is very nice Keep in mind that you need to use a PNG file with transparent background. So that's it. Now let's see the drop zone one that has the colorize effect. You can click here, add your media. Let's say this one, hit apply. And then you can disable the colorize effect. It's the dual tone effect. And here you can change the color if you want to. All right very nice effect you can also change the intensity maybe you just want a little bit so that's basically it you have the text and you have the logo you can change them enable or disable them now let's see how the slide works go to the titles tab and here you can grab one of these let's say this one and let me put on top of this clip imagine that this is a tutorial where you are talking about something and here you can add two clips what you are talking about so here i can come here to the timeline media transform section where you can change the framing of this content so i need to pan a little bit to the right like that i like it okay you can scale up scale down don't do that don't leave this space or you can do if you want to but i like this yeah i like it all right now you could for example hide the space between the scenes the content add a little bit of roundness change the color of the background keep in mind that you don't have the opacity and the other controls for the background all right so that's it and then it slides back very nice very cool effect it's very powerful i love these titles from the slide section so that's the basics on how you can use the grids plugin for final cut pro 10 in the next tutorials we are going to talk about specific questions that our customers have about this plugin 
and I'm going to answer them. All right. Thank you. If you have any question, please let me know. Thanks for watching.